Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Rotor Ride. I'm Alex Vanover and I'm out here in Orlando flying some freestyle and I'm gonna take you guys through my steps to making the perfect FPV freestyle video. Let's go. So there's a lot of factors that go into making what I would consider to be a great or so-called perfect freestyle video. There's no such thing as perfect, but uh, I do try and make my flight videos as clean as possible. So if you guys have ever watched my videos before, you'll know that I don't like to use things like stabilization. I like to fly in good light at excellent locations. So I really do take my flying very seriously, especially when I'm trying to make a video like this, but I have a lot of fun doing it. You know, I enjoy ripping around as well, but really making these super smooth, buttery, flowy freestyle videos is something that as a creator, I just have a lot of passion for doing. So there's a couple of tricks off the bat that I want to talk to you guys about before I actually just get out here and fly. I'm at this new spot in Orlando. Well, it's new to me at least. I know the other road riot pilots have flown here before, but I've never flown here. And one of the things I look for in a good freestyle video that I want to make is something that fits my style. So when you guys are going out there and flying, if your style is very aggressive, you might find you like a certain type of spot versus if your style is very flowy, you might like a spot like this, for example. This spot's nice because you got just enough diversity you have the building right here, which is gonna be nice for wall rides. The glass is really shiny and reflective, so we can definitely play with that a bit. And then as well, the whole parking lot is filled with trees. So there's trees with gaps in them that you can do tricks from. You can also just, you know, split S over trees, power loop trees. And, and for me, I like a spot that's got just the perfect amount of diversity. I don't necessarily like to have a spot that's full of only just trees or only just concrete. So something like this is really, really nice for me where I can get super technical if I want to, but I also have more open sections where I can really think in my mind, like what kind of tricks would be really good looking, you know, what looks good on the camera. Another thing that's really important for me when I'm making freestyle videos is using no stabilization. I like to see the raw movements in the sticks, even when there's little bits of corrections. Now, I do try and minimize those corrections to the best of my abilities, but I think it really showcases not just the flying skill, but also the talent and hard work that goes into making a quad fly really, really smooth. This is the Vaney style. This is my five inch frame right here. I have the DJI 03 system in this one. I have my signature motors on it. I recently switched to HQ J37 props. And the nice thing about the J37 props is you can get them in this dark gray color. So even with a low camera angle, you might see a little bit of the props, but not too much, which I think just enhances the quality of these freestyle videos. The nice thing about these props is they're 4937. So they have really, really great prop wash handling. And that gives me a lot of confidence in trippy spins and other maneuvers where I would normally fly into a lot of prop wash. These props are just very, very snappy. That's good. That's really good now. No, same drone. I just put my weak tune on. My, it's really for old quads, but that's what this is to be fair. To be fair. Oh. Sounds good though. That was actually really sick.
blind guy. Oh shit! Come on. I didn't even know where you hit, but I saw glass just flexing back and forth. I'm in tall as shit grass too. Which... Oh, yeah, you can't, you can't. See, this is what happens. Is record the video. I know. I'm the. Oh, uh, okay. There, there are four phases for me of like flying in a typical like freestyle session. Okay. Number one is the show up phase. Learn the spot, do a couple good tricks, feel good about myself. Number two is the, dang, I'm feeling really good about myself. Look at my footage, Sean. The uh -huh. third phase is the most painful and the longest phase. This is 75% of the day. The crashing every 30 seconds, changing like 20 sets of props, just frustrated myself, hating everything. And then there's the final phase, which I don't always get to. <laughs> if I'm quad still flying, that fly good. And that is the magic video phase. So I think we're entering phase three right now. All right, phase three, here we go guys. Let's hope phase three doesn't last very long. Now you might notice that these props here are actually a little bit banged up. That's because this quad's been flying a lot. When I get to a new spot, I like to learn the lay of the land a little bit, see exactly where there's areas where I would like to do tricks that I'm used to doing, maybe some areas where I'm a little more uncomfortable and I can think of something really creative. So I like to not fly just brand new props every single time on the quad, like some of you may think I do. But at the same time, I do bring lots of spare props because once I feel like I'm in my groove and I'm getting a lot of good, you know, like 60 second lines under my belt, then I like to always keep brand new props on my quad, especially if I crash, because that way the footage is almost guaranteed to be ultra buttery smooth. And for me guys, that's really important because I don't use hyper smooth. So I keep it all raw. So that way it's all about the pilot and making sure that I can perform to the best of my abilities. So as you can see, a couple of props here now, I've been flying this spot a little bit now, so you know I could bend them back, but no, we're not doing that. We are determined. Bend it and send it. No, we're not bending. I do not fly hyperspeed. Bend it and spin it. Well, I do. Well, That's I know. Why. I, I know you do. Look at these. These are perfect. No, they're not. Look There's at it. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, prop. Sean flies these 4.9 inch props till they're three inch props. That's right. I've heard his quad sound <laughs> wild. It sounds like a gas airplane. <laughs> Wah! As it's going through the air, I like to keep There's my quads. Wrong with these props, they're fine. I would say that none of them are fine, but I'll give them to you if you want. <laughs> so there's no exact script to this video. It's really just me going out here and flying for you guys, but I'm gonna kinda you know, share some footage on the screen as I go out through the day. And hopefully by the end of this video, we'll have like a really nice, maybe not a one take, but hopefully a video with only a couple of minor clips in it. And uh, it'll be a Vanover freestyle video. So let's get to it guys. This is what happens on a typical day. Sometimes I'll go through five, 10 sets of props. And then on some days, like when I made Flawless, one of my freestyle videos, I think I went through 22 sets of props in a couple hours. So I was literally changing them out, but, but I was feeling really good. It wasn't like I was crashing that much. Well, I was crashing. That's why I was changing. <laughs> I guess I was feeling good and I just was waiting for like the right flight. And then the song came on and I just felt great to the song. You guys might've seen that video. Got black bars on the side. Where's your backwards, where's your boobies cube? That was it. Uh, here, oh. let me do another one. So here we go, here's a backwards boobies cube. Okay. This is the front. Yeah, the backwards has a little bit of uniqueness to it. Well, just for everyone sure. goes forward. Yep. But what I kind of want to do is I wanted like, uh, like, you know, like full inverted, yeah, like. Yeah. That was a good one if I went under the canopy. Oh, it would have been sick if you went under the canopy. So, yeah, I mean, I kind of like to, when I'm flying, like, I always think about, like, I'm going to do 30 second cuts. So, I actually, uh, yeah, I do this, so that way when I'm watching it back, I know I'm, like, resetting. Oh, okay. Just, like, for a head that's a good. Point. That's a good pointer right there. And then I'll find a point like this, like, a little bit of foreground, coming up to the building. Oh, look at that. That wasn't the smoothest, but <laughs> let me just keep it going because you never know. Maybe you yeah. end up cutting it. Woo! Oh. It just changed those props. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the third cycle for sure.
So a lot of you might actually ask what I look for in a Vanover freestyle video. And there's two types of videos that I like to make. The first type of video is like a one take where there's no cuts, there's only color grading and music added. Those videos are really, really challenging, but really, really fun to make. And those take a lot of planning, you know, really figuring out exactly where I'm gonna do tricks and whatnot. So I might show you guys one of those, but what I intend to make today is what I would call like a Vanny style video, which is only a couple of cuts. So I like to try and have at least four 30 second lines together so that way I can cut them together with music and I like to also fly to music as well not the exact song that I intend to edit to but just some music that's of a very similar genre because it kind of gets me feeling the beat of what I'm doing if I'm doing a one take video though I do like to pick out my song ahead of time because I'm gonna fly to the beat of the music so that way it feels very natural and dynamic whenever you're watching it so I'm not gonna keep talking guys I'm just gonna get flying and uh, you guys will get to see what this looks like one thing I like to do too is I mean, this is not anything special to like eye technique but because I'm running a really like strong ND filter I'm running an ND32 and the lights going down I like to make sure that my exposure is good so I always watch the last flight back and I like to watch like dark points that looks pretty good, but I would say like one more flight and then I'm gonna go to an ND16. Like it's almost perfect right here. And then I also like to make sure there's no like random flutters or anything like that. Cause then you go through like the whole rest of the day. That was nice. But yeah. But there's also watching it back gives me some ideas too. Cause obviously like at 03 too, it's super wide. Yeah, when I get home and watch my footage, I'm always like, I wish I would've done this. I wish I would've done that. So that's why I like watching. Yeah. Now that with the GoPro 11 too, it's more reliable than the session. So it's a lot easier to do that. So I think this time it'd be fun to, I don't have music going, which is really good for a one take, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna like, I try to do a full one take. All in one, we're calling one. All right, here we go. Trying to see what I can do. All right. So you pretend you got that music going, usually waiting for the first little beat drop. Nice smooth takeoff. Of course the wind picks up just in time for us. <laughs> yeah, he's got a little windy all of a sudden. And the sun went away. So I usually like to start off with like medium to low difficulty tricks, but like a variety of them. So, you know, I've done Rubik's Cube, and this is just to kind of get me feeling in my rhythm, not trying for the hardest gaps. You can notice like I'm lining these all up well before. Now go low. Progressively a little harder. Do a big old power loop. And now I've pretty much you know, gotten the easy trick, so it's time to level it up a little bit. We like to start doing a little bit more blind stuff, right? Really. You know, my stuff that, yeah, how do you do that? <laughs> and it's really just got a wing in it. That was tight. And then we're gonna try. Oh, you're really going for it. Dang, nice lineup. Yep. And then in the middle, we'll do a little filler. This is like a mental reset for me. And I wanna do that wall ride into Trippy next, so I'm thinking about that try to figure out how to line it up. So I'm just getting myself to that point. So we talked about the trench run earlier, right? Okay. The trench oh, was boring, yeah. but we'll do a little. Yep. And I did a back blow. Oh, that was way. perfect. You let out. I didn't do the little hole there. That was nice. Again, we're thinking we're in the straight. So let's do double roll filler. And here we go. We're going to go for it. And, and a little flick. Nice. And then keep it interesting. That's like the best looking one you've done so far. No, it's not over yet. And now it's over. And again, we talked about we got to exit the trick well. Now the problem is I've done really hard stuff. Yeah. I look at my timer, I'm at 228. So I'm about any roll yet? Yeah, yeah. Have any roll that minute? I did. What about a Vanny cube? We'll do one of those right here. There you go. All right. And then a yaw spin. Ooh. And doing a birdie yaw spin. Sometimes I just need to remember which trick I haven't done yet, you know? Yeah, this is a good flight. So at this point, I'm almost at three minutes. So I can really start to push it. Oh yeah, do some, yeah. some backwards stuff. Yep. Maddie flips something. 
Okay, let's try Matty. Let's do a warm up, Matty. Nice. And I cheat. I do a double flip because it gives me a little extra chance to line it up. Okay. And then I'll do. I did this last year. I like looks like I'm diving. Oh, 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 and so that is like, but that's it. That's the end of one take. Yeah, you got batteries at 21 4. Ooh, we'll just give it like a little. It was a long flight. That was a good one, right? There. So it was three minutes until the mistake. So you could def definitely cut it at that point. Yeah, that was sick. But I think that's cool because I've never actually talked through what I'm doing in a one take. So it's like just turn into like how to do a one take. How to video. do a one take. And normally I'm flying to music because I pick the song out ahead of time and I like the the beat you know like i like to do tricks on the beat yeah so you try to figure out what the rhythm's going to be what the flow is going to be what the speed of the yeah. song is going to be ahead of time in your brain is pretend you're singing it to yourself yep exactly you play it dude. no i literally like to play it and unfortunately i'm not playing it right now because i don't know any copyright free songs yeah. that because i i don't even really care about copyright but like i think that's cool talking about it so like i i think for a good one take it's important to sometimes you just go right into it you know yeah. but i think that generally speaking if you go right into it you set the bar super high and so then the video almost gets like more boring as you go on because you're like, oh, we did the epic Maddie at the beginning. Right. So yes. I, I like to make like medium tricks to get the attention. Then I kind of feather in these like, you'll see, they, they look like hard tricks, but I'm like taking these big sweeping turns to line them up. So I'm like, okay, I shouldn't nick some random ghost branch. Yeah. Once I've captured like 60 seconds and all right, I got to do something now to keep this person here. Right. You got to keep people's attention. Absolutely. So yep. doing the Maddie, doing, the, I think the wall ride is definitely like the highlight. Yeah. And then once you've done that, then... You know, you're like two and a half minutes, then you just got to keep pushing, pushing, and hopefully you don't crash. Like for me and Flawless, when I did that video, I was like doing all these like Maddies and stuff, and I'm like, what else can I do? And I thought about power looping into the, the, the dive, because I'm like, even if I crash, that's what the video ends on. So it's right. like, a, oh, yeah. But then when I got it, I was just okay. like, Listen, what do we do? I'm like, but that was it. Then I just stopped, because I'm like, that's three minutes. That's all you can yeah. do. So so hopefully that helps you guys with the one take video. And really, the strategy is the same for when you're just doing like a normal freestyle edit. Like I was telling Borden, I like to do a bunch of 30 second cuts. So I think in my mind, I need four, at least four like good 30 second takes. Because it ends yeah. up being a bit longer than that anyway. Yeah. So once I got like four of those, then, you know, I'll, I'll kind of weave them together. So like I could do that or I could do, you know, the one take. Yeah. That was a pretty sick one take right there. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> you got a lot of good tricks in one. Oh, thank you. I like the one takes just because I, I, there's nothing to hide. Right. Yeah. You, know, you can't hide any no cuts at all. My only concern is that with the, the uh, we we're talking about the ND filter, mm. is that I might have had too much ND on because the sun went down. Right. So it kept changing while you're flying. Before I get clouds, I don't ever like to prematurely celebrate until I actually watch. I've watched it. I make sure there's not like some random pitch bobble or something. Yeah. But uh, hopefully that's good, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Rotor Riot. This is really just a loosely put together video. We're out here just enjoying some nice Florida weather here and enjoying a good freestyle spot or what I would consider to be a good freestyle spot. Yeah, I can enjoy you enjoying the freestyle spot. That's good. I'm <laughs> glad you can enjoy it. We have a really awesome episode that we're going to be filming tonight as well, guys, and that's going to be coming out on the Rotor Riot channel or it might be out by the time you're watching it. We're going to be doing some night wings. So if you haven't seen it yet, be sure to tune into that one. Link in the description down below. Make sure to subscribe, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell and all the things. And yeah, yeah. And if you guys want to fly the setup, comment. The other thing. If you guys want to, if you guys want to fly the setups that we fly, I just grabbed a tank because Mike Watt's still pointing <laughs> over there. But you can get, I believe, the tank ready to fly as well as the Vanny style ready to fly on Rotorite. So be sure to check those out, guys. And uh, yeah, once again, as Sean said, thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>